What's going on, everybody? This is B Web, B Dog McBadass at your service here. Um, it's a beautiful sunset right now. Look at this. Look at this right now. Uh, can you see that sun? You know, if you could look at it clearly, it would almost be the size of the moon. You sure it's 93 million miles away? Eh, I don't think so. But whatever. We can get past that. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to get on here and figure the government's watching no matter what. So, fuck you guys. So you know. Not a big fan. I do like it. I, I, I would have liked it. If perhaps I could have been born in the early... Or the earliest, tw early 20th century. Uh, late 18th century. Not 18th century, 19th century. That would have been the time to be alive. I'm telling you what. Oh my gosh. So, I don't know. I just want to holler at you guys for a second and let you know. Uh, they did tell us it's going to be a dark winter. They told us. They told us. They told us. They told us. So, you got to be prepared in all aspects of life. You have to think about uh, what's hit me recently is what they call, uh, or what, what they call what is called this last year has been so such an awakening for me I've, I've came to so many realizations and came to so many realizations about myself as well and, uh, man I take I guess myself sometimes honestly but anyways past that uh, realizations of um our central school system, our central power system, our central food system, central education system, central, uh, you know, market center. Uh, it's, it's, it's crazy how dependent we all are. We are dependent like, like no other. Uh, not all of us. No, not all of us. Uh, some of us were raised a little different. It's all about how you were raised, I believe that. If you were raised to be a hard-working person, you, you saw your dad go to work every day. You went to work with your dad every day. Your mom went to work. Your sister, your brother, they went to work whenever they were of age. You know, you know what that life is like. You know what hard work is like. And if you want, if you want something, that's just how you get it. You have to work for it. There's there's no way. There's no way that makes sense that you can get, you know, things that you want in life. Possessions and uh, a house and a family and a place to call your own. Something like that. You can't get that without hard work. But the generation that's that's being brought up and the generation that's been brought up in, in, in some locations around our nation here in the U.S. is, is uh, it's, a, it's a generation of lazy fools. It's a generation of just people that they, they call it hustle. They call it hustle, hustle, hustle. You know, and really they're just kind of screwing around their fellow man because when we all contribute we all succeed when we all contribute and we work as a team we succeed and it's hard to imagine that on a, such a large and grand scale it's so hard to imagine an entire country working together but it, it does happen it happens around our 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 plane it our planet earth um it does happen. You have to work. You have to work at, at, at being a good person. You have to work at your spirituality. You have to work at your um, what, what, whatever you call success. And, and I hope whatever you call success is something of good moral intention. Um, it's a crazy world. It's hard to be. It's hard to be moral, and it's really, really easy to be immoral these days. It's really easy to be immoral because narrow is the gate. Wide is the gate. That's what that's what the Bible says. It says wide is the gate. Wide is the gate and narrow is the path. Are you on the path or are you walking through the gate with the rest of the cattle? That's a, that's a good question you should ask yourself. 
Are you walking through the gate? Ah! <laughs> or are you walking through the narrow path? Uh, the narrow path is, is, is super hard sometimes. It's hard to, uh, it's hard to know what to say anymore. All these movies are coming uh, from, from, from fantasy into reality. Everything that you see in the movies is turning real life, I'm telling you what. And everything that you thought would never happen in this country is probably going to happen because there are, well, you know, they've told us for years that there are freer, pr uh, no, 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 this is the most free place around the planet, plain it, uh, which is, is really true, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, immigrants, I love immigrants. Uh, you are out to make a better life for yourself. You're out to, to explore the world, and you're doing exactly what God wanted us to do, is what I believe. You are traveling. You're doing your thing. <sighs> but this nation is going 180. Um... I don't know if you want to call it 180 or 360, to be honest, at this point in 2020. This is, uh, this is October 16th, by the way. It's what they tell us. It's October 16th. It's a uh, month of rituals. It's uh, the munch, uh, the month, ah, munch, yeah, munch. <laughs> you can say that if you are part of a satanic cult this month because you're evil and pagan and you are everything that is not of God and I'm uh, not sorry to tell you that people of this world listen do your history do your research look at your history sorry um, I mean I'm telling you behind this wall right here is just a stack of books and movies and everything um, it's a I can't say that I went through every piece of it. I plan on it. I've been prepping my home for whatever may come, whatever boring time may come, whatever. I don't even know at this point, but what I was wanting to show you, kind of the point, I know I'm like, I'm, not, I'm eight minutes in already, okay. Here's what I've got for my home for preparation. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, whatever. So we have a very simple water collection system. It's not very complex. I literally cut it with a sawzall. I haven't cleaned it up yet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. But it just, it's, I just got a flex hose from Lowe's for 15 bucks or something like that. Uh, it's got a drain right down here. I can easily uh, drain it if uh, the water perhaps gets too nasty or murky or something like that. And if you look even closer, uh, this reverse camera has got me messed up. Uh, there's a drain tile right there, and I've dug it all the way that way into the woods. So it's, uh, it's not going to make a big mess whenever I drain it out or anything like that. It's going to do well. Uh, but uh, I do have to find a proper way to filter the water. <sighs> Excuse me. An efficient way, I believe, to use the water, perhaps, is just use it for your toilet. If there's any way that you can uh, just use it, you know, every time you go to the bathroom, try not to flush too much, but in the winter or, or any time of year, it's up to you. Try not to flush too much. Do it if you got to. I understand. But if you if it's in a dire time, you can you know, uh, they always told us uh, if it's yellow, let it mellow. If it's brown, flush it down, baby. Uh, so in that situation, that's 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 pretty relevant. But otherwise, you might come out here with a small bucket or a five gallon bucket, whatever you want. Fill it full of water. I'm gonna install a valve. It's going to be right around this area. Hopefully it'll get that full. You know, I actually thought about, uh, I considered making a few um, 
very well sealed valves right there for different heights because at different heights I actually had different benefits if you know anything about gravity then the higher I make this the more water pressure I'll have as long as where my water exits hose is pretty low um, or at least lower than the valve if it's level with the valve nothing will happen if it's lower than the valve you'll have water pressure so the most ideal thing is and see I live in East Tennessee the most ideal thing is if you can find a few I saw people take four pallets, screw them together. They take a buddy and they put one of these things right on top of it. And then they stick a water hose in the side of it. They, they seal that valve and then they put a water hose around the side of it. And it's, you know, it's the bottom is very easy up to their chest and water pressure all day. They water their garden with it all day. I've, I don't have that set up yet. I didn't really imagine. See, here's what I got going on right here. I have a window right in front of this water collection so I mean you know I'm able to bring it up another foot I might even be willing to say a foot and a half but I won't get much water pressure but I can at least use it for my toilets I can use it for my garden um, uh, we've got a water filtration machine that actually does pretty good it's, it's pretty impressive um, it's pretty impressive I gotta say it's, it'll turn green murky pond water into some clear stuff it's it's ridiculous but we if if, if need be we've got the water clay as long as we've got the water and the water filtration machine we keep the filter clean don't mess it up I and mean, we'll be pretty good we can at least survive uh, it won't get that bad I'd like to imagine I think we're gonna be okay but looking at the Georgia Godstones it might tell a different story other than that I have a greenhouse that's unfinished. I'll turn the, I can't turn the camera around. But here's the door to the greenhouse, and uh, like I said, there's not much to it. I don't. I don't really have everything going on in there. But um, I got to finish it. I need to finish it. I'd, I'd had some uh, cherry tomatoes. You can see. see those there they are I got it I grew a little bit of tomatoes they were good for a while those have actually been there and they're getting darker darker green I don't think they're gonna grow I got some jalapenos out here those are pretty good I think uh, I got a baby one it's not gonna do anything it's like it's October where did 2020 go where are you at there do you see him you guys see him. I don't think he's going to get very, very tall. But like I said, there's the greenhouse. It's just unfinished. And i got to get some plastic on it. Just bought some plastic today. I just bought some plastic today for, um, for the greenhouse to try to get in there this weekend. Just try to hang around the house because that's what gets things done. you got to hang around the house. you got to enjoy your homestead because one day... One day soon, you might be confined there. Fuckers. So anyways, I actually have two more of these water... Uh, well, I, uh, I call them water collection tanks, but they are they could be multiple things. And let me give you a prime example. I came up with this on my own. I, I was trying to look up ideas. I saw a few ideas. People are creative. I made a dry wood storage I'm gonna stick a door on the front of it and I'm gonna make two more of these things and as you can see I got a whole bunch of wood and a brand new Husqvarna chainsaw so I just gotta get out here and do it man Electrical has been kicking my butt. So, along with the water collection and the dry wood collection and the greenhouse, which I do plan on putting some type of plants out there, but it's got to, it takes power in the winter. It takes power. I, it's either going to be propane, which is expensive, or just electric. Or, I mean, that's really all I got. But what I'd like to do right here, what I've got these posts set up for, I've not got my chicken pen set up yet, but I got a chicken pen coming. I got some chickens coming. 
I'm gonna set up my chicken pen, set up, I'm just gonna get a tote, they're babies. I'm gonna get a tote, I'm gonna run a couple heat lamps at the tote, uh, throw some throw some hay in there, some straw, wood chips, whatever the fuck, and get them ready for winter. Hopefully, yeah, I might get some full size ones. I don't know if I have to put a roof on it or not. It's gonna be interesting. Get you some chickens. And if you have money at all, I don't care if it's $200 on Facebook, I don't care if it's $300 at Lowe's, $400 at Home Depot, or get on the internet, and if you've got the money and you are dedicated in, in, in some way to just preparing your family for the worst. Get you a deep freezer. Store your meat in it. It need, you need to be able to store your meat, whether you go fishing, whether you go hunting for deer, hunting for squirrel, hunting for rabbits. I don't care what you hunt for. You might, I mean, it might, who knows? I just don't even know. You know what I mean? You need to be able to store the meat over a long period of time. You need to be able to cut it up, fillet it, steak it, bacon it, whatever the heck you're doing, and store it for a little while. That way you can, you can freeze that meat in time and open it up when you need it at your worst moment, perhaps. Get you a deep freezer. Take it a step further because what if the power goes out? What if they take us off the grid? Like I was telling you, central power, central food, grid system, market system, whatnot. Here you go. It's a 10,000 watt surge. 8,000 watt continuous generator and let me tell you I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and I was wanting to go solar I was wanting to go solar so bad I was wanting to I was I just wanted to use I just what it's what I wanted it was interesting it was different and I couldn't find a way to make it worth it. I couldn't find a way to make it worth it because it was going to cost me, you know, $2,500 for an inverter, $2,500 for a battery. That was going to be good for about three or four days, which is good, but, you know, there's that money. So then you got the wiring involved, you got the pipe work involved, you got a weatherproof, you got the panels involved. Oh my gosh, bro. Like it got up, it got up to 10, 10 grand. Easy, easy 10 grand. And if you, I mean, if you do it all, and that's even if you mostly do it all yourself, twenty five hundred dollars for a good inverter, twenty five hundred dollars a battery, and that's if you're getting it off of a, a dealer type of person, somebody that's got a you know networking skills and whatnot. Um, they know people; they've done this for years. They stay up to date with uh, the newest technology for things like that. And um, even still, I mean, it was up; it was over five thousand dollars after two two or three items. And you don't want to burn that shit up. You you do not want to spend twenty five hundred dollars and freak your inverter up because they're not going to replace it. They might if you pay another two hundred dollars for their warranty. Who knows? I I didn't I I didn't want to do it, but I love doing it at the same time. I got the generator, guys. I'm telling you, there ain't no light down here, but I got this guy. Right here. He's a big guy and he rolls around like a wheelbarrow and he's going to power my house with 50 amps. That's all we need. We got, we probably need 20 amps or 30 amps, or probably 30 amps or less to power our refrigerator, our deep freezer, and we actually have another freezer on the property. And we could easily power a lighting circuit, no doubt. And if we, if, if we didn't or we couldn't, we still have candles. Uh, we've got so many candles. Um, it's, we light up a house real easy. And if nothing else, we'll just go to sleep and wait till the daylight comes back because there's a lot of natural light in my home. Um, I've been going on for almost 20 minutes, guys. I'm going to complete my 20 minutes. I'm going to give you another 30 seconds right here. I'm going to tell you to pray. And I'm, I'm not telling you to pray because things are going to get that bad. I'm going to tell you to pray because... It's, it's it's the right thing to do. It's going to bring you to a moment of silence. It's going to bring you to a, to, a, to a point where you can expose your heart truly to the Almighty. And uh, just don't leave your spiritual self behind. 
That's what I'm asking you, is do not. Do not. I know, I'm past my 30 seconds. Go on somewhere. Go on somewhere. Do not. Your spiritual side. My friends, my brothers,